Winter National is back in hut, and it is. It's a thing. Hey guys, what's up? Some Sato here, or Lucas Mirage, another NHL 21 Hockey Ultimate Team video. And today, brand new event, you guys already know. We have Winter National into Hockey Ultimate Team. That is right. We have brand new uh, master sets, brand new cards, and brand new sets. So at, at first look, these cards are pretty sick. Matt Zuccarello, Jacob Voracek, Patrick Laine, and Bobrovsky. Pretty cool cards, right? Just wait. We also did get a couple play items. We got a Jay Bowmeister, a Dry Settle Pasta, He Share, You'll Levy, and there, there, okay. And then obviously we do have the Advent Calendar set where basically every day you'll get a free pack and get some stuff and cool. All right, we'll start by looking at the master sets. We have the Sergei Bobrovsky, the 91 overall, has heart and soul and distributor. And it's a goalie. Not many people are going to do this, most likely. 91 Patrick Line it has Swarm and Workhorse. I know some people do use Swarm because it's only 8 points, but Workhorse is pretty hard to activate as of right now. Uh, but it's Line A. His shot's insane. If you have Workhorse activated and you have like Spark like I do, he gets up to 95 and then 90... What? something 90 something speed not terrible and then obviously we have the jacob voracek for some reason he has workhorse as well i don't know why they would give two two master sets of the same exact masters like of the same event the same synergy but here we are it's decent like i said it's pretty hard to activate workhorse right now you can get him up to 96 excel if you have a uh, spark activated uh but I don't know. Not the greatest card. His shot's not very good. His hands are obviously pretty good. Bigger card. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the Voracek yet. And then we also have the 91 Matt Zuccarello. Obviously super small. 5'8", 179. Not great synergies at all. Um, but decent card. I'm interested to see how this card plays. I may try him out. Um, it just sucks that his synergies don't do anything for me. And then quickly looking at the player items. We have this Jay Bomey's here. 89 overall. 85 Excel. 90 speed with shutdown and swarm. It's, it's he's 89 overall like i'm not saying this is a terrible card or anything but 80 slap shot and 89 overall obviously he's a defensive defenseman but um for someone that his whole career was known to be a phenomenal skater 85 87 is kind of a letdown um good defense obviously 91 defensive awareness 92 stick checking he looks pretty good but like i'm not using him at lefty we do have the 89 dry settle with wingman and distributor obviously any any card with distributor is gonna be huge um I, i'm just kind of the only thing I don't like about most of these cards is the player choice. Like, we already have a couple high-rated dry saddles. And same with the pasta. We already have a couple high-rated pastas. Um, and I don't know why they went with pasta and and dry saddle when we already have some couple high-rated guys. But, like I said, the dry saddle is fine. He has a distributor. Um, if you have distributor and spark, he'll probably be pretty good. Um, I'm interested to see how his build plays in the past couple years. His cards have not been great. Looking at pasta, barrage, and thief. Not great synergies. Again, 88 speed. You guys know how Pasta plays. It's Pasta. Looking at the Brandstrom, he actually looks pretty good. 5'10", 181. Decent shot on him. Good passing. Synergies are meh, but again, if you use Swarm, he's pretty good. Um, the Nico Hisha is the most interesting card for me. Um, I use Spark, and he does have Workhorse, so if I were to get him along with the two other Master Sets, maybe pretty decent, but um, the Hisha looks pretty good. 85 balance, 6'1", 175. Should be a decent um, decent card, I mean, as a winger for sure. And then looking at the Ole Levy again, has balance, 6'3", 198, good speed. Decent shot, good passing, looks like a decent card. Um, and then we go to the lower rated guys who don't really matter too much. I I, I will say Mad Sogard, 6-7, obviously. Barrage and Swarm, not great synergies. Don't see a lot of people using this guy. Now, looking at the sets, maybe the biggest problem in this entire event. So, obviously, you have the master sets, right? You have Lainez, Voracek, Zuccarello, Bob, awesome. Go into them so you can either make their 91 or 92. When you make their 92, they get an added synergy. But the issue is... You cannot make them tradable. The only way you're able to make a specific player is by doing this 15 item. It's 13 or 12 gold collectibles and you get the 92 line A, but it like he's untradable. There's no option to make him tradable. It's the same with Voracek, Zuccarello, and Bob. You cannot make them tradable. The only way to make a tradable master set is by paying 15 gold collectibles and you may not even get the one you want. For 15 gold collectibles, you get a choice out of one or two of the 91 or 92 of Line A, Voracek, Zuccarello, and Bobrovsky. Theoretically, your pack could have 91 Bob, 92 Bob, Zuccarello, and Voracek, or both Zuccarellos. 
I just don't understand why they would take away the idea of making tradable master sets. In my mind, I'm not going to do any of these sets. I never want to do untradable and lock my team in. That was the issue with NHL 21, and it seems like for whatever reason, they're pushing it again. Now, I think the fantasy hockey cards are the only ones that I kind of understand making untradable. I made two of them, but with these, you're not ever going to upgrade these. That line A is going to be 92 line A forever. And just seeing how they went backwards on this, I, it makes no sense to me. It makes absolutely no sense. So all things considered, I don't know if I'm going to end up making any of these guys. Like the line, it looks pretty good. The Vorchek looks pretty good, but I don't know, man. But either way, I'm a shill. We're going to open up these, uh, the packs. We, we loaded 50 bucks worth. Uh, here's the advent. So every single day we'll get a different pack. And I got a collectible. Nice. Now, of course, I am going to open up the untradable starter pack for 100K. I get a gold collectible and a guaranteed winner national player. Give me that dry settle or that he share and I'm happy, but let's see what we end up getting. Obviously, gold collectible is nice, but wouldn't mind a decent winter national card. Johan. Left-handed D-man with Howitzer. Can't shoot, can't pass, can't play defense. Woohoo. And then obviously we did get a gold collectible. And then we did get uh, a Christmas sweater. Sweet. 100k all right but without further ado we'll rip these open and there's no other winter national packs it's literally only just the the starter pack um not a whole lot of great packs out on a friday uh i'll open up the mega player packs these these packs are actually pretty good um if you're buying with coins because you get 50 gold players or 30 gold players for 50k which is actually a pretty decent deal we'll open this up didn't get anything too crazy in this one Matisse Yanmark, Malcolm Subban, Henrik Zetterberg. Now, I think I get to open up a couple of these, maybe two. I'm not entirely sure, but these aren't very good, but they're good value because obviously the gold players, but um, let's see. Absolutely nothing. All right. Nice. So now I'm stuck with the jumbo premium packs or the mini booster packs. Yeah. Now, for whatever reason, the mini booster pack has better odds at players. So we'll go mini booster pack. Ooh, okay. Team of the week, Duchesne in the first pack with workhorse. Hold on. Wait a second here. Actually, not a terrible card. And maybe there's more workhorse cards than uh, I know of. We'll keep ripping these booster packs. I don't know if I'll get a better pull than that, but not bad. Not bad. All right. Nothing in that one. <laughs> All right. Mini booster pack number two. Skip. Uh, Nothing. I'm not expecting too much out of that. What's up, Lucas? Big Hawks guy. All right. Keep it rolling here. We do get a couple of these. Yandel. Sandy McCarthy. Woohoo. Sweet. <laughs> Honestly, these mini booster packs aren't terrible. I think I said that in a, an earlier video too, but we'll keep it going here. I, I don't know how many of these I'll include because I don't. I doubt I get anything great, but... All right, moving on to the jumbo premium packs. Gosh dang it, dude. I was going to say, those boosters were pretty sick. I doubt we get anything too crazy in here. Tyler Johnson and James Neal. We'll keep it going here. Big money, no whammy. Last pack, or what? Last two packs here. We pulled... Uh, 750 coins, Vinny Hinnis strolls up 500 coins, woohoo! Big premium pack guy here, big premium pack. Skip that and get absolutely nothing. And we will rock the base pack, big money, no whammy. Sell dry settle right now. Paul Loss, what a time. Love my Paul Loss, brain point, what a base pack, okay. And just like that, $50 down the drain and literally no, no nothing cool, nothing cool. Now, some of these MasterCards are already up on the market. And, like, I'm considering doing the line. I see if I can make him fit onto the team. Because with Workhorse, I think he becomes way better. But, I don't know, man. It's just some of these just don't make sense. And how they structure the sets don't really make sense. But, I don't know, man. It should be interesting to see how much these cards end up going for on the market. Like, this Bobrovsky, um, his 92 has Distributor and Spark, which is huge. Um, if you can get a starting goalie with three team synergies, that's huge. But, um, I don't know, man. I don't know. But either way, boys and girls, hope you guys did enjoy the video today. Sweet pack opening. Uh, let me know down below your guys' thought on this event. And if you're in the same mindset as I am, and it's really not worth doing any of it. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, let me know down below. I'll talk to you guys later. Come on.